The next element we want to add to our content management system is a CRUD process for one of our topics. So that is create, read, update, delete. So we're going to start with the read, that is a listing page, and we're going to use types as our first topic. Types is our smallest table, only one column, so it should be pretty straightforward. First step, let's actually test it out right now. If I click manage types, we get a page not found. First step is to add this to our routes file. So I'm going to go to our routes file, add a new route for console slash types slash list. And my list route is going to call my types controller, which we actually haven't made yet, but we will do that shortly. And it's going to call a list method from that controller. And just like our other pages, we want to make this page secure. So our visitor must be logged in to view it. So we add our authentication middleware. Now, if I save and refresh, okay, progress, that URL is now hitting our routes, but now our types controller doesn't exist. Let's create our types controller. We'll open up our terminal. I'm already in the folder that I am working in, so I'm just going to make my controller. So PHP artisan make controller and the controller I want to make is types controller and that was made successfully so if I open up my types controller it's ready to go to start I'm just gonna jump back to my routes file and now that I'm using my types controller and it exists, I need to add that to my imports here. And then we'll jump back to our types controller and the method we're looking for is list. So I'm going to add a method here to my types controller called list. And all this method needs to do is call our view. And the view we're going to use this time is types.list. And this time, unlike the previous ones, we want to provide and gather some data for that types list. Data you want to provide to that view goes in as your second parameter, and you can provide it as an array. We want to include a list of types. Now our types has a model. We created a model earlier. If we look at our models folder, we have a type model. So we can use that type model to simply fetch all. And because I am using my type controller, I need to import my type controller. So app slash models slash type and save and refresh and there we go again this is progress we're still getting an error but our URL is hitting our routes our routes is forwarding that to our controller our controller is preparing some data and passing it to our view except our view does not exist our last step will now be to create our view so I'm going to go to my views folder create a new folder for types and create a new file called list. And I'll jump over to my dashboard here and copy my header, everything from here up, and paste that into my new list, make some room for my list, and then copy everything from here down. And I can close my dashboard and paste that here. And inside our main content here, we're going to add an H2. And this is manage types. And we'll simply display our types in a table. So we'll start a table. We will use some W3 classes. So this is a W3 table. I'm going to use the W3 striped class. 
I'm going to add borders and some margins on the bottom. And I'm going to open up my TR. This TR has a class of W3 red, so our headings will be red. Then a couple headings, and for our type, all we have is TD, so I'll create a, sorry, all we have is the ID, so we'll create a column for that. We have a column for our title. And then we're going to have a column for our add, edit, and delete buttons. So I'll just create three empty headings for our add, edit, and delete button. Sorry, this is going to be just edit and delete, so I can take one out. Then we want to add a row for each of our types. We open up a loop, so open up a for each loop. Remember we placed our types in a variable called types. Just close that and then close our table. For each type, we want to open a new row, open a cell for our ID, and just echo out from our value the ID. then output from our value, our title, and then we want an edit button and a delete button. So open a TD, new link, and this is going to link to the edit page. So it's going to be console slash types slash edit, and then we're going to pass an ID. That is our edit button. We add one more for our delete console slash types slash delete. And again, we pass the ID of the record we want to delete. And I forgot my closing link tag here. Close our TR. And at the bottom of our table, we need an add button. So the route for our add is console slash types slash add. I'll add a class here to make this look like a button. Make it green and our text will be new type. We'll save that and now if we refresh we get a working list.